Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my monthly BookTuber shoutout. So as usual, there are 10 channels. These will all be linked below. We'll show a little bit of footage from their channels while I talk about them, and let's just jump into it. So up number one, we have Harriet Rosie. So I've been following Harriet for a good few years now. She's the founder of Thrillerathon, amongst various other things. She's created a few tags. We actually created a tag together back in the day. Uh, she's just a really approachable person as well, but with some great insights into the books that she reads. She's also been on a hype recently for kind of foodie non-fiction books, like for food journalism, which I think is quite cool because I haven't really seen that anywhere else. And overall, just one of those channels that I think is a must-watch. Okay, up next we've got Graham Sillers Reads Books. He lives in Scotland! <laughs> he doesn't sound anything like that, that's just my one... Anyway, Graham lives in Scotland. He reads quite a wide variety of stuff. I enjoy his hauls. He does go on, well, I suppose he hasn't been able to recently because of obvious reasons, but he goes on little breaks away and little trips with his husband as well. Just a really chill, really friendly dude whose videos are always a joy to watch, especially because of his Scottish accent. Oh no, I lost it, I lost it, it's gone. Okay, up next we have Matilda Gothica. Uh, she's Israeli, I believe, I'm sure. At one point she was reading Dan Brown in Hebrew, which I thought was quite cool. She also does uh, like a, a month, I think it's monthly. Anyway, she does an unboxing thing where she has this like Darth Vader box and she'll unbox it and there'll be something inside it. So I always enjoy watching those to see what she comes up with. Another person who is just super friendly and a, a great asset to the community. Then we have the reading werewolf, Daniel. So he's basically nuts. Um, he's also a writer as well. I think he's got a green screen recently. He's done some really cool stuff. He makes some really creative videos. He's had some with his mum in. I think one of my favourites was when he made, like, he made the ultimate blanket for it. And that was so cool. And he showed, like, the behind the scenes of how it was made as well. So I really enjoyed watching that. But yeah, Daniel comes up with some really creative stuff. And he's also a writer too. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for great stuff coming from him. Speaking of people who are also a writer, we have Edward Lorne, E. He's most notable for me because of his uh, Stephen King theorist videos. He reads, obviously, a lot of horror, a lot of thrillers, but quite a variety of stuff. He's a writer himself as well. He has a book called Life After Dane that I really want to get to. Uh, he's a guitarist too. He's done a pretty badass cover of XIX by Slipknot, which I also do. And he stopped by one of my live streams the other day too. So shout out to E. So shout out to E. Alex Black, although I think her channel is now just called Alex, and I think at one point it was Alex Black Reads. Anyway, her name is Alex, and she reads, and she does some really cool reading vlogs, has quite a wide variety again in terms of taste. I think that's the kind of common theme amongst the booktubers I watch. I've actually shouted, out, shouted her channel out a lot recently, and it's because basically I've started my shout outs, I go through my subscriptions feed and find the 10 booktubers whose videos I most recently watched and Alex just always seems to be up there because I watch all of her videos. Similar thing goes really for Lukash from Totally Pretentious. Don't let the name put you off, he's not too pretentious. He just reads some, you know, pretty classic literature. Like, he'd probably read Nietzsche, he's the kind of guy who reads Nietzsche I'm sure. Um, but yeah, all kinds of awesome stuff, a lot of non-fiction on his channel as well, of pretty cool classics. Um, yeah, there's just Sorry, I'm getting super distracted because the cat's here and he's nuzzling against my hand. I think he wants to say hi to Lukash, who I believe also has a cat, so that's a good reason to subscribe to him too. Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. So he was kind enough to send me a package in the post recently with like a charm that I wear around my neck, so that was very kind of him. Now you can tell from his channel name, he covers Big Hard Books and Classics. There's some really interesting descriptions. He's another one of these uh, booktubers who just has a really chilled vibe to his channel. It's definitely not overproduced or anything like that. You just feel like you're just sitting there in a room and having a chat with him. Mark Nash, who is another booktuber who is also a writer. I believe he's created a few tags of his own, own here and there as well. And um, yeah, he's just a really chill dude, British guy. And um, yeah, I can't remember what video it was of his that I watched. Uh, I... I Went for a while where I think I didn't see his videos in my uh, subscription feed, so I've been watching a few of his more recent videos, and uh, it's been good to get back to him. Okay, and finally we have Spinster's Library, Claudia. So you probably know Claudia because she's, I don't know, sort of booktube royalty, I feel, by this point. Uh, a while back she did her uh, Women of Harry Potter series, which I really enjoyed. In fact, perhaps, hopefully, she might even get back to doing that. I don't know whether she's finished that. 
Uh, she's got some cats which are super adorable. And she also doesn't shy away from talking about politics too, which is interesting because I normally agree with her, but it's always good. So there we have it. Those are the 10 of the booktube channels that I've been joining recently. As always, you can find the links to these guys in the, uh, in the description below. You can also hit subscribe to any of them. Hit subscribe to myself if you want more. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments who you've been enjoying on booktube recently, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.